everyone, and welcome to our live streaming live feed of the Castner online auction. It's in progress right now as I speak. Uh, if you're watching this auction later on, the point of this video uh, was basically over the past couple weeks, I've been working on cleaning out the store. I took a whole bunch of stuff out of the store and I decided to put it through an auction house, which is uh, one of the few places that's uh, opened it up for business. Uh, a couple reasons for that. One, um, it gives me an opportunity to sell a lot of product locally and internationally. And uh, I also don't have to worry about shipping off over 100 items. And that's how many lots we've had up at this sale. So far, I've seen about 10 vintage oil lamps go. And the price um, of those really ranged between probably uh, 60 to $160. Um, some of them sold for about half of what they were worth. But, you know, in all, I'm glad that they're gone. We are just about to come up to a whole batch of our lots right now, and I thought uh, we would follow this along, see how it goes, and um, keep my fingers crossed and see exactly what's going on. Melissa is uh, moderating behind me, and you can kind of tell I'm working from home here today. So without further ado, I'm going to walk you through some of the items that are coming up, and then uh, I'll turn the uh, live feed on in the auction once we get closer to, to our lots, which will be coming up in about 10 lots or so. So here we go. Okay, I'm just going to get this more or less set up. All right. Hey, I'll try and fix that screen a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer there. And just try and get that framed a little bit better. Anyway, you guys get the idea. It's an auction. So uh, auctions like this are generally live and in person. Today, though, this auction is happening uh, just on the internet. It's not happening. Um, it, it's not happening live in person. So let's have a look. Uh, they're on lot number three eight eight, which appears to be some uh, pink salon quality hair dryers, which are going for seventeen dollars and fifty cents each right now. Um, my lots start again around lot four hundred five. So if I click on the first one, it's four hundred five. It's kind of a uh, a saucy looking painting. This is a, an acrylic on canvas, and there's a funny story to this painting. I don't think anybody's got any bids on it. You might look at it and go, okay, well, it's a little dark. It's a biker flipping somebody the bird, riding through what looks like hell with tombstones. But uh, this came from a fellow who was actually in prison, and he said that that was supposed to be the date of his release, but he said that they actually kept him in a couple more years. He didn't get out until about 2018 or 2019. Um, so I thought, well, you know, at least the guy was learning a skill while he was in there. And uh, we ended up uh, buying that off of him. And uh, now it's up for auction. You know, kind of a funny story. But if anybody does ever bid on this thing and wonder what it is, if they're a motorcycle fan, this guy was painted that thing in prison. Um, that's the story on that. Anyway, that's a, a little bit different topic. We're going to get more into the fun stuff. Following immediately uh, after that is Sully from uh, Toy Story. Oh, where did he go? There he is. So uh, this came from a person's house uh, that got this as promotional from working in the movie industry. It's funny. Let's go from guy riding through the gates of hell right to Sully from Toy Story. There's there's a uh, you know different type of monster in your closet, I guess. This one being friendly, but I don't think there's any bids on little old Sully there yet either. We'll we'll find out. They are on lot number three eighty nine. So we've got a few lots to go before we get there. But really, right around lot four hundred five is where our stuff starts, and it goes for a little while. Um, and every time it advances to the next item. So Sully, right now, oh, I don't think he's got any. Let's see. I'm going to go into their other screen here. And these were the lamps that sold. So some of them did okay. They were selling actual cars. Oh, sorry. I, I'm sorry if I said Toy Story. Monsters Inc. My mistake. I was. Uh, thinking of Toy Story, because it's Pixar. But yes, of course, it's Monsters, Inc. Uh, let's see. We're gonna get to the, uh, the auction. They sold a whole bunch of beef stew and ground beef. Um, you never know what's gonna be at an auction. Uh, the, the auction house was saying they wanted the, their auctions during this uh, crisis that we're in to be kind of like pizza. They wanted everything on it. So sometimes they'll do um, an auction that's just antiques and other times they'll do an auction sale that's, you know, uh, just tools. But now they're kind of throwing everything in the same type of auction just to see kind of what it goes for. Okay, so he's got a bid. Uh, there's Sully right there. 15 bucks. Somebody's bid on him. So 
So that'll find a new home. Let's see how's Buzz doing. Buzz is at $20 right now. Oh, pretty soon we'll see what these things all end at. Um, I'm curious with things like this Whedon steam engine, which is actually a pretty high-end steam engine, you know, circa 1930s, I would say, on that one. That's a, a pretty decent little antique. I think list on that was originally, you know, over 150, probably around $200 is what that thing would sell for. So we're going to be getting very close to all of our items here soon, and we'll follow along for some of them. Uh, we'll stick through this. This live feed will probably be about 45 minutes or so long, and um, I'm just curious to see what things are at right now. Okay, the Graffinola. Incidentally, this this Graffinola is one that I just got in the other day. Um, it came from the collection of movie theater stuff that I purchased and I wasn't sure if it worked. So I, I did what you do and you don't know if something works. I plugged it in and sure enough, it worked. And to start this Graffinola, you plug it in and then you kind of uh, move forward this little lever and let it go. And it kind of kickstarts the, the turntable. It's a unique setup that I hadn't seen before, but it's working like a darn. Uh, you just put a uh, 78 RPM record in there and it'd be playing it in a jiffy. So pretty interesting piece. Uh, let's go back. We've got the old 1800 sampler. Did anybody else bid on that? 25 bucks. This is an 1882 sampler. It is faded a little bit. You can see the colors are faded, but it's the sampler, the Lord's Prayer, um, Alice Cluley, 1882. And, um, that, that is framed. I got that from the, uh, the act the family. Sometimes people don't want to keep their, uh, their heirloom pieces, but there are lots of people who collect needlepoint and samplers. This was kind of fun. Uh, we had this hanging in our own house for a while. Um, this is from a Jimmy Stewart movie called The Jackpot. And it's an original movie still, which would have been something that they handed out as promotional to people that were advertising the movie. Um, so very few people would have gotten something like that. It's a high quality eight by 10 glossy photo from the time of the picture. It's, it's actually a movie authentic piece. And we had it professionally framed. I think I spent probably $120 getting that thing framed with you know archival glass and the whole thing. It's only 15 bucks. We had that hanging in our front entrance for probably over 10 years because uh, I worked in the film industry. I had a lot of movie type collectibles and I really enjoyed the the graphics. Who doesn't like Jimmy? I, I, I say, I say who, doesn't, who doesn't like Jimmy, J, Jimmy, Jimmy Stewart? Um, so there he is. That's a heck of a deal. That's an over hundred dollar frame on its own. Um, so somebody, Sloan Stair is gonna get a really good deal. Let's go back to the live feed and see how we're doing. Are they still on these hair dryers? Wow, they're still on the hair dryer. Well, we're only about six lots away from getting into, uh, there must've been a second batch of these things. There's no way they could still be sitting on these hair dryers. Huh. So we've got a few lots to go. I'm gonna go back in and, and talk about some of the other things. Incidentally, if you wanna know the story behind something that we picked up, um, I, I will try and share that with you too. Uh, some of this stuff is not ours, like the Opeachy cards. This was, oh, this was the one, it was really low earlier. Yeah, it's still only $15. This is an original World War II advertising poster um, that they would have had up at the post office where time is important. And then, well, it's just after World War II, I should say. And it's got this great graphic, great image. Um, it's a really fun looking piece and it comes with the frame. I mean, the frame is probably worth 40 bucks or 50 bucks on its own. It's at $15. So uh, yeah, they are, things are going for, you know, very reasonable prices. But again, you don't know what it's going to sell for until you actually uh, uh, see things ending. This isn't mine. This Thunder Burp, Gum is, Thunder Burp Gun is somebody else's, but it's really cool that it has the box. Um, it makes like sort of a machine gun sound. Uh, these... Asian tapestries, a lady brought them in the store. At one time, they'd spent quite a bit of money on them and they are a really nice fabric uh, machine uh, stitched tapestries, really. And a really nice scene. Uh, they're quite long. I think they're like three and a half feet long by a foot or a foot and a half tall. So they're, they're pretty big. There's two of those up there. Those are a neat piece. And I like scrolling through sometimes to see what other people have. Uh, there's a bunch of watches. We'll probably follow the auction today right up until, oh, what's the last thing of mine here? Maybe the movie still. So we'll follow about 38 lots, even though there's quite a bit more. I think when we get past this batch here, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's gonna be coming up. But I'm gonna scroll back. 
and we'll go and we'll see what this stuff sells for. These antique wood planes, the Italian scuba diving knife. This was the cigarette dispenser that we had at the shop. Um, they don't have it, they don't show what it does, but what it, <laughs> if I could go into the screen, you pull that up and the globe lifts and it actually reveals a whole bunch of slots for um, cigarettes or other rolled tobacco that a person might want. But it's a neat thing, 1950s. Oh, thank you. Okay, you are amazing. Uh, Walesco D5 steam engine. Really great thing. Again, this is the one I was saying earlier that uh, Jason would really love to have this, I'm sure. Um, you build an act, you build the steam engine yourself and then you fire it up and you can run little toys and little machinery off of it. It's a really, really cool thing. Um, I got this from a family. I don't think they ever even used it. It looked like it was brand new in the box, but, um, there's your little fire pellets. You put it in there, slide it underneath, heat the boiler, and then everything starts spinning and moving. Just kind of a fun thing. It's at $60 right now. That's probably worth at least, you know, two, 300, somewhere in there. Somebody could get a very good deal on that. Uh, okay. What are they selling now? Did you see it? Uh, Smokey the Bear? Yeah. I did not see it. Melissa's giving me some, uh... Uh, David, this mattress, right? Yeah, I mean... If there was a Smokey the Bear item? Question mark. Oh, uh, that might not be ours, but if there's one in there, it sounds cool. And Sue said, I couldn't find the handcrafted mask. Did you change your mind? Uh, the handcrafted mask, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's going up at next week's auction. So the most recent video we put out was uh, stuff that's going up for next week. This is all stuff that's um, uh, from the previous, I guess, episode three of our work. This is that uh, early 1900s Gabriel Gillet uh, Inuit picture, and it has a, a COA on the back from that time. He was a French explorer, went around the Arctic. Anyway, you get the idea. Fifth, uh, 20 bucks right now. So let's go into the auction. Um, we're gonna have a chance to see what things sell for and fingers crossed we do okay. So uh, we're, I'm gonna turn the um, volume on here so you guys can hear the auctioneer. And I'm gonna try and, I'll try and raise this up a little bit. All items must be removed by Thursday. And don't forget, shipping is available, and we've gotten some good rates from some of the shippers. So, uh, oh yeah, they do ship. The website, the incidentally. All right. <clears throat> a root spends another three quarter length jacket, size large. We go eight in Canada. Here we go. Twenty, thirty, two, uh, eight, twenty, and thirty. Don't forget, 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 thirty. Thirty, thirty, twenty, thirty, two, ten, twenty, and thirty. So if I wanted a bid, I would hit that. I'm not going to right now. So we have a few lots of. Okay, so there's our first one, lot 405. It's coming right up. Show home, fabric modern style sofa, 82 inches uh, long. There you go. It's out of the show home, 50, 75. Pick, give it down 75. Don't forget to get all brand new, 50, 75, and 175 and 100. Man a quarter, one of them down, one to quarter. Give it again, one of them down, one to quarter. One Just trying to adjust that camera a little bit for everybody. There we go. Okay. Last call, 100. Getting close to it. I have. It looks like they're getting the painting more or less ready. Okay, I'm going to pause that for a second. Um, we have thought about doing our own um, auction. I don't know about doing it on, on YouTube or anything like that, but um, I'm still fairly busy shipping stuff out almost on a daily basis. So if you ever see anything that I do on a walk through at a store and uh, you're interested in it, please email me. And uh, if I don't get back right away, please be patient because it takes a while to get through emails, but I certainly will do my best to get back in touch with everybody. Um, we are certainly in the business of trying to sell stuff and I'm, I go to the post office almost on a daily basis during the week, mailing stuff out. Um, yeah, <laughs> somebody said the auctioneer would crush Eminem in a fast rap competition. Yeah, it, if you didn't actually have to say real words, but, uh, let's see what we're at here. Wild West novels are next auction. Okay. Well, somebody really wanted an IKEA three drawer dresser. These are in Canadian funds, by the way, too. You guys probably know that. So, 
7303 Somebody said, can you pull your stuff? And I, I said, not once it's up here, but I also don't want to put it back in the store. <laughs> this is the painting that was actually done by a prisoner who was in jail for quite some time. And he, he painted this while he was in his cell. So we'll see, 17 bucks. Honestly, I, I think at the time I gave him like, I can't remember what I gave him for, but it is an original painting. Well, we're getting up there a little bit, 25 bucks. I hope the artist isn't watching right now. I would want to make that guy angry. My work's worth more than 25 bucks. Arr! Then he Hulk smashes a table or something. Never anger a guy who has been in prison that long. There you go. Okay, well, 25 bucks. It's gone anyway. It takes a different sort of person who's going to think that's cool. So. Monsters, Inc. Yeah, Sully with the box. There we go. See, more people are inclined to buy a Monsters, Inc. He's already at 30 bucks. I think I had this at maybe, I don't know, 35 or $40 in the store. So it's already basically at my asking price. So that's all right. Is there going to be one more bid? I don't know, we'll see. And no, I'm not, I'm not too tempted to keep uh, stuff around too much. I only collect very certain things myself. Okay, Buzz is cool. Buzz was one of those toys that, if I was a kid, I would like to Buzz Lightyear. What's he at right now? $25. No, 20 Oh, there you go, 30 bucks. 35 Okay. There we go. Getting there. Already, I'm okay with that price right now. $45, I probably would have taken that. If, if I had that at the store, 45 bucks, that's fine. I'm good with that. This next one is Buffalo Air. There was a show, um, uh, Buffalo Joe. It was the uh, Ice Pilots. This is a replica of the Ice Pilots guy's airplane. Um, and he kind of lives in our area. We, we see him every once in a while. 30, well, let's see. These were a limited edition run. They didn't make too many of them. Probably like my, my book that we did. You don't put a whole lot of them out because it's just expensive to do. There we go, 35. I wish they had a better picture of it. It's actually quite detailed. They're holding it kind of far away from the camera. It looks so tiny in that picture, but I guess, you know, scale airplanes, you don't want them one-to-one uh, -one scale. It would be a little bit big to put on your shelf. Okay. The next couple, I'll be curious to see what they go for. This Whedon steam engine should be worth about $200 or so, at least. <clears throat> we'll see. On the antique steam engine, 45, 55, 8, 45, 55, I'm going to get 55, 50, 45, 55, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, Everything's no reserve. There's no reserve on anything. And every, everything generally sells. So um, if it doesn't sell, they'll put it through the next auction. 80 bucks, okay. Well, it's almost halfway there. Uh, next Sunday. Next auction will be next Sunday. Okay, we passed 100. I really needed to be over a hundred. This this thing's worth probably two to three hundred dollars. It's from the nineteen thirties. I don't know why I didn't put the date on it. We're getting there. It's nice it has a cable. Those cords are often uh, often missing. Is it safer for kids at home because you didn't have to light it on fire? You could just plug it in and it would heat it up like a tea kettle. And then operate your little, if you had a mechano set or a Ferris wheel or whatever, you could mechanize all your toys. Uh, yeah, it's an oldie. They can show the plate. 150. I'm, I'm okay with where it's at. 150 or 160, 170, 180, 190. Okay. See, we're getting there, folks. I was nervous about this. I didn't think we'd get up there, but it's over $200 already. <laughs> okay, basically, I'm, I'm at about what my asking price at the store was. So if it sells for around 200, I'm, I'm happy. That's, uh, that's what I had it at. Yeah, done. Okay, I got my asking price. I got full retail. 
This might be a good one. A couple things about the Slave One ship. I got it off the original owner. Um, and the original owner of this ship was actually bottled Bob the Bottle Man. I got this from Bob. This was Bob's when he was a kid. Um, it has the door. It's not missing that. It has um, Han Solo with Carbonite, which he's trying to dig out of the back there. It does have Han with Carbonite. So it's a pretty complete one. 50 bucks. That's actually pretty fair price for that. I mean, fair for whoever bought it. These are cool. These are all 1940s, probably 30s, 40s vintage. Hmm. Well, let's see. That's a good deal. 30 bucks is pretty cheap for all that. And it comes in the collector's Coke tin, too. I would think it should sell for around 45 or 50. Oh, okay, well, let's see. We'll see if we get close. Maybe I'll do... A... I'll guess the price. And we'll see if we reach it. Forty bucks. Okay, I was off by five dollars. This should sell for about. Well, it's already at forty. Honestly, folks, I had that at my store for thirty nine ninety nine. So everything on top is just a bonus for me. Uh, eBay, we are Curiosity Inc. All together. At this point, it's already $5 over what I had it priced at in the store. It is a fun thing, though. Folding cameras look great on a shelf. They're great decor. There's people who still uh, shoot with these, too. It's just a fun thing. I'm fine. If it sells. Yeah, it's good. I'm happy. Little brownie camera. I don't have huge hopes for this, but it does have the original box, which is nice. No, chicken hasn't sold yet. Twenty bucks. Okay. I can't remember what the accessory is. It has another little accessory that came in the box too. I think I had this out for maybe forty bucks in the store, so it's going half. About I think I had about thirty nine. Twenty bucks. That's fine. This was. I, they only could put reportedly returned by a U.S., but I got this from his sister. His sister get, was given this when his, her brother was a... Yeah, his, her brother was a soldier in the Vietnam War and brought it back to her. It's, it's over a foot tall. It's pretty big. But that came back via Vietnam right, at, right during the Vietnam War. Uh, interesting piece. She took good care of it. It still has the hat and accessories and everything. Yeah, 15 bucks. These are some of those dolls I got in a couple episodes ago. I just put them all in a box. These are the ones that were made in intercourse. <laughs> oh, that sounded really wrong now that I said that out loud. But that's where they were made. Pennsylvania. <laughs> 1950s. They're probably like mid 50s, early 60s, somewhere in that. So they said, so that's where dolls came from. Yeah, these dolls did anyway. I think there's five in the box there. That guy's been decapitated. That's scary. Poor Amish guy's lost his head. Somebody's got to sew that back on. Uh, hopefully the buyer New Jersey is staying nice and safe indoors. This is a cool piece. Uh, early pinup art is always very collectible. This is made of metal. This is tin, in case you guys are wondering. That's tin plate. And it has uh, this picture over top. And it's essentially, I guess you would have paid money at the, at the store. And uh, every time you paid a nickel, you could have won, if you got a row or something, you would have won money back. This is kind of a cool thing. Can't remember where I found that. Oh, 50 bucks, okay. There we go. Keep climbing. This might have come out of the abandoned antique store that I bought, actually. That might have been something that came out of there when I got that abandoned antique store over a year ago. Punch board, yeah. Thank you, Maddie. And gone. 60 bucks. Now, these are one is a bottle opener and two are uh, stoppers, and they're kind of funny little characters, and then uh, it's a little pipe stand. 1950s kind of era, funny little barware. 
15 bucks, there you go. 15 uh, No, the strawberry shortcake dolls are at the store. They're not on our page right now. Somebody's asking. That is a nice little porcelain thing with the the, the pipe is part of the pottery. It's it's or part of the uh, ashtray or 20 bucks is a good price for that. It's a good deal for someone. It's a fun little set. Okay, this should go for over, I'm gonna say over $200 on this. This is my guess, somewhere around 200 bucks. This is a nice Walesco steam engine. It's basically brand new. See, look, everything is still in the package. And what's that? I'm hoping 200 bucks, guys. Let's see if we get there. 90, 100. I'm guessing 200. That's my guess. What do you think, Melissa? It's a steam engine. This is the one I, I, I should have brought this home for Jason to build. He would have loved that, especially since we're stuck indoors. He could have been sitting there building that thing, had a little steam engine going. 230, Melissa says. I said, I said 200. We'll see. We see Jason Adley and Davy Jones Locker. Somebody named Jason is bidding, but that's not my son, Jason. <laughs> oh no. It's worth more than that. 180. Okay, see, there we go. 20 more dollars. Come on, Jason Adley. Don't let Davy Jones Locker get it. <laughs> You'll never get it back. <laughs> What's another bid? Think of the fun you'll have building that stuck indoors. <laughs> Not like they're watching me or listening to me, but there it goes. Okay, I was close. This will go for $45. That's my guess. Oh, sorry. No, okay, maybe I'm wrong. 55. What? What? Oh yeah, he opened it up so you can see. See, that's where you, you hide your cigarettes in there and it keeps them kind of safe and protected. 75 bucks. Okay, well that's a surprise. It is cool and it is really well made. Like I get that. Like whoever gets it isn't going to be disappointed. It's nicely put together. But... Okay. Well, that's that was a runaway. That surpassed my expectations. I think I had that out at the store for like 40 bucks. There you go. This should be a good thing. But I'm in the prairies. There's not a lot of scuba divers out here. But that is a nice Italian-made scuba diving knife. It's curved, so it actually uh, fits around your calf. You strap it onto your leg when you're swimming. There we go. I'm guessing $65. Mind you, it feels like it's stalled out right now. That's a that's a good hundred dollar knife right there, I'm sure. Oh good. <laughs> By the way, the auctioneer, the the fellow Brian that's auctioneering right now, lovely man. He's the one that started the auction house. His son, Sean, runs it now. It's a family business. Brian's also a bluegrass musician, plays banjo. Fun fact about Brian, the guy you hear talking super fast. Now, this thing should be over 100 bucks. Carpenters' wood planes are hot. Like, antique carpentry tools are generally really good, but we'll see. Oh, man. Come on, guys. That's a bargain. Oh, my heart be still. Oh, climb. <laughs> climb. Oh, no. Don't stall at 30 bucks. It's an 1800s carpenter wood plane. That's a beautiful piece of history right there. And it's usable, too. Actually, that's more of a plow, I think. That's not really a plane. That's a plow. Maybe if you're doing, like, your fine work, your trim, your cornice moldings, that kind of work. You can see they've got the nice beadwork around there. Just a really well put together thing. Okay, we're at 45 bucks. Well, I, I don't know if I can watch this. Those are going, those are going cheap. That's going cheap. Maybe it's because I put three of them up at the same time. Okay. 
50, yeah, once they get to 50 bucks, they start to jump in uh, $10 increments. It's for making, uh, it, you basically run it along wood to create special designs, like you would do uh, edge work or molding. It's what they did in the 1800s to make, you could do furniture, um, any kind of stuff with it, really. Woodworkers know what this stuff's all about. Sold for 60 bucks. That that went pretty cheap. That's a good price for an antique woodworking tool. But, I mean, it's out of my store. It's done. Well, now I have no idea what these are going to go for. Yeah, these are, these are plows, I believe. There's no reserve on any of this stuff. Will it reach 60 like the other one? One more bid, guys. No, that's cheap. Okay. We got one more, one more to watch. See, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But I've had these kicking around the store for over a year now. I sold a lot. I had a huge collection of antique woodworking tools and all the good stuff, all the really high-end stuff sold right away. These were the last few antique ones I had left. But look, even the screws are wood. Those are those are turned wood. That's how old this thing is. It's not actually metal that holds it together. The carpenter, it's made from turned wood with wooden screws. It's really, really neat, actually. Well, Phoenix Fireman's going to get a deal. 50, 60, 50, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 
This isn't my stuff, mind you. I have enough action figures to sell over the next month anyway. Okay, this is what I, I don't know. These can be really expensive, but who knows what it's going to go for. This is an actual um, 1800 sampler. 1882, in fact. Has the Lord's Prayer on it. Um, young lady named Alice clearly made it. The reds and yellows have faded a little bit, but you can still read it. Oh, 25 bucks for an 1880 sampler. That's pretty cheap. Flying Dutchman. This is a pretty big kit, actually. That's a really nice piece. That's probably an $80 model. It's at 20 bucks right now. 25 30 and this is in Canadian funds so like what 30 Canadians like 20 US you guys get a really big deal hey Carol things are going good so far we're just we're still watching oh smelly old goat said they bid 40 bucks <laughs> okay well, this is a cool piece I had a lot of people call me at the store about this that wanted it and I said if you want it you got to go to the auction now and it works. And works. Yes, it does work. I'm talking to the auctioneer like he can hear me. Yeah, you put your records in the top part there. And you plug it in and you kick a little starter lever and it starts it going. So if somebody uh, from far away bids on this and gets it, I would probably put a new cord on at some point or at least give it a wrap because it's a little bit brittle. But uh, plugged in and turned on, no problem. And uh, you pull this little lever back and let it go and it starts it. I'd actually, uh, this is the only one like this I've ever owned. Usually they're wind up um, or they've gone completely to being a record player. So it's an oddball piece. 130 bucks, okay. I'm happy with that. I'm good with that. This next one is an authentic advertising sign. And although it says America Dry Ginger Ale, it was made in Canada. Fort William, Ontario. The pieces like this are really hit and miss. You don't know how they're going to do. Um, at an advertising auction, this would be probably $200. At this auction, it's at 50 bucks. But, you know, there we go. It's done. This is that Jimmy Stewart thing. We actually, Melissa and I had this in our house for over 10 years. I had that framed. We had it in our front entrance for years and years. I spent over $100 getting this thing framed. So it's nicely done. So whoever gets it is going to get a good deal, especially if it's only 20 bucks. That's an original movie still too. We'll see. Munch in Germany. Ah, sehr gut. Minus Deutsch's friend. 30 bucks. Yeah, already, like, you're still... This framing job was expensive, so unless it goes for over 100 bucks, basically, they're getting the frame for more than half price. But that is a cool piece. It's a nice image. Jimmy Stewart, original movie still. That's fine. 35 bucks. We've had it in our life. I feel like we had $100 worth of use out of it. We had it in our front entrance for over 10 years. This came out of the abandoned antique store that I bought. Steve and I went and cleared out a bunch of stuff. Ten bucks is cheap on a Coke tray. That's ten. Press ten. That's that's dirt cheap on a Coca-Cola tray. That's for sure. I hope it goes for at least twenty bucks or so. I mean, that's the real deal. Okay. Going to Germany. There's another one. Just like the other one. Okay, so if you missed the last one, you're like, man, I should have bid five more bucks. Here's your chance to get one. Lots of coke collectors out there. There we go, 20 bucks. Where were you, Big Brad, a minute ago? <laughs> 
By the way, this type of auctioneering is uh, very common. Pretty much most auction houses in Canada operate with that style. So if you're watching and you're overseas, uh, sometimes the auctioneering styles are much different, but the uh, auctioneering chant, that's what they do here. There we go, 25 bucks. There we go. Okay, this one's cool. It's a, it's a nice Western piece. And I really, I framed, I had this frame myself, and this was another one we had hanging in our house. The reason I liked it, it's such a cool image. Um, they're on a steam train, you know, it's a lady, a, a Western lady, and she's up on the train and she's pointing like, where'd you see him, Tex? Well, if you go straight ahead, they're just up the tracks there. They're blocking it off. I can only imagine what the movie was about, but it just, it's such a good image of them pointing and just a fun thing. And again, it was over a hundred bucks to get that thing framed at the time. So, I mean, even at $50, they're getting a good deal, but you know, it's just a fun thing. Of course, I, I like Westerns. My dad was big into Westerns. Say, where's this train headed? Well, mister, it's headed down south. Deep in the heart of Texas. It's a decorative sword, probably from the 1950s. Spanish Revival was big in the, I would say more like mid 60s. And they came out with a lot of these things people would hang in their house. Um, you'd put it like in your rec room, but it is a Spanish made, made in Spain. It's a real Spanish sword. You know, nice little decorative thing. It's full size. I shouldn't say little, little. It's the size of an actual, it's a, it's a real sword, <laughs> real length. I don't think it's sharpened though, but you could. Honestly, I'm okay with whatever on this one. I don't, I don't think I was into it for a whole lot. So 80 bucks, whatever it is, that's good. Good for you, Christian. 80 bucks, you got a cool piece. This, I had two of these. I don't know if they're gonna put them through at separate times, but this was a, um, it's a, it's a factory stitch or a factory um, tapestry, but it's really nicely done. It's like four feet long too, it's big. Lady had it framed professionally. There's, a, there's another one very similar to this, different scene, but from the same house. It's nicely done. That's cheap. 35 bucks is very cheap on that, actually. This next one isn't mine. Let's see, when's, when's the next batch? Okay, I guess we don't have a batch of stuff again for a little while here. 225 bucks. Well, I wish that was mine. What? <laughs> That is a pretty cool game, though. Man, I guess I should be stocking up on Green Ghost games. That This one is not mine. Well, we're going to see what that one goes, and then I'm going to pause the auction here for a minute. Sold for 270 bucks. Well, somebody did well on that. Okay, so I'm going to flip this back around. There we go. Um, so that, that green, ghost case, uh, green Ghost game wasn't one of mine, uh, but whoever put it through, I'm sure they're happy with that price. It looks like a really fun thing. And if it's new old stock, as they say, that means it has never really been played. Um, our next batch of items doesn't start up again for a little while, I think um, in the 500s. I'll flip it around actually so you can see, but I'm not going to uh, stick around. Oh, Carol, thank you so much. Okay, let's see. Um, Eva Gardner. Oh, maybe I might have an autograph or something. Let's see. I'm going to go into here and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to keep talking while I do this. Alex, Canada is in America. Yeah. So what did I, well, I know Canada is in America and North America. Is that what you said? Oh, I said, maybe I said it's going to America, but the U S of A is what I meant. Okay. The next batch of stuff for us starts around lot 510. Oh, 509, sorry. The Star Wars TIE Fighter. Let's see what it's at right now. 60 bucks, okay. So the next batch of things for us starts there. The 60s toy helicopter. This is one I was really, I'm curious to know what it's going to go for, but I don't think we're not going to stick around on the live today to, to watch it. But 
okay, it's getting up to a better price. Last time I checked, it was at 80 bucks, and I was like, no, $80 is way too low for a enterprise coffee mill. Um, we had it priced at $750. And why did we have it priced at $750? We had a price like that because that's what those things usually sell for. So um, I'm hoping that one climbs a fair bit. That said, I've had it in the store for a while. Um, I've had it in the store since last year. So, you know, at some point, I didn't get any offers on it. Um, as much as they have sold for six, $700 in the past, sometimes you just gotta cut your losses. Oh, here's the chicken, chicken cookie jar. Somebody was all like, where's the cookie chicken jar at? It's right there. This was one of those things that um, somebody said, <laughs> somebody said to me, oh, I wanna buy that. I gotta buy, it. I'm like, oh man, I already took it to the auction. It's, it's our, you gotta go to the auction if you wanna bid on it. Um, so there you go, it's lot number 517, has not sold yet, it's 35 bucks. If you feel like you need this big chicken in your life, um, if you've ever felt like stuffing a chicken with cookies, um, instead of stuffing, I guess, then that's your moment. That's Matthew, your chance. Matthew just put up a direct link to the auction for those that are having trouble getting in. Matthew is an actual wizard. So all of this stuff, lot, what, 502 or so, all the way through, a lot of this stuff is all ours that runs through. Um, so we put some high-end action figures in, um, some sewing machines that I thought were kind of cool with the wooden cases. Portable singers like that are kind of fun. I know they don't usually sell for crazy money, but they're neat things. And hey, we might have more time to be inside. So up to a lot 548 or so. There's probably a few other things uh, in the mix down the road here too, but lots of fun stuff going up at auction today. Uh, let me flip this back around. So um, I guess we'll see. We will see what everything goes for. I'll try and do like a little bit of a, a tally. The nice thing about running stuff through an auction is that you, um, you put it through an auction like this on the Sunday and we get a check on the Friday. So next Friday we'll be paid for all this and that money goes straight towards either um, mortgage or whatever we need, <laughs> groceries or who knows what. Um, these guys will, even though this is an online auction, um, they will ship it to you, they'll pack it and they'll send it anywhere in the world. So um, that's part of the reason why I use this auction house that as you can see, a lot of times I do get very close to retail prices for things and I don't have to worry about anything other than picking up my check next Friday. It's a, it's a really uh, good way to clear out a lot of inventory. So I've got one more auction to do. That's gonna be next Sunday uh, where we're taking in the old cowboy magazines. Uh, we're taking in, I've got a Jim Bowie knife that's in a nice frame that's going through. A lot of cool stuff is gonna be going through next Sunday's sale. So we might reconvene again next Sunday and then uh, we'll see how this all goes over. But uh, thank you so much for watching this update. That auction is not over by the way. The auction is still going on and we have a lot of stuff happening. So if you find it interesting, you can go to um, kauctions.ca. You can sign up and you can watch the auction live yourself and uh, and get a sense of what this stuff is all selling for. Um, it works on mobile devices and on your Mac. If you run into issues, they have tech support that can help walk you through it. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have fun and hopefully you guys get some interesting antiques from the whole deal too. Um, so it's just, uh, K, the letter K auctions.ca. That's where you want to go. Melissa's going to put it in there. No, Matthew. Oh, Matthew put a link in. So if you scroll back through, you'll see it there. So, uh, so far I'm generally happy with how things are going. So, um, this is a lot of stuff that was sitting around the store, was able to thin out, clean up my store and get some money back in return. So couldn't ask for better really. So thanks so much for watching today's episode. I'm going to let you all get back to watching the auction and next Sunday, there's going to be another one going live. Um, so this is a great time to sign up. You can watch the auction yourself from home and uh, you'll have a chance to bid on things too. And as you can see, they have no problem sending it off to anywhere in the, in the United States of America, to Germany, to England, wherever you are, they will send it. So have a wonderful day guys and we'll see you all soon. <laughs> Bye for now.